Hello everybody. Welcome to today's episode. We are making personalized wine bottle holders. And here's my method of designing and machining this wine bottle holder. This is a great gift or just to have one around your home. So here we go. First thing you do is open either an existing file or a new file. Depends on the way you want to go. Um, if you want to just go to your nextwaveautomation.com and just get the file, that's fine. You can just then open it up. But we're going to start with a new file first. So create a new file. We want an 18 by 8, uh, 3 quarters of an inch thick, single sided. Um, we're on the material surface and our XY datum is in the middle. So it's right in the middle here. So we'll say OK. Now, we've got our flash piece of stock. We've got to start making our um, holder. The thing is, is remember that you can make this any shape that you want it. But I've already got some shapes that are already in. So what we're going to do is import them. So I have a shape. This is the shape. And it's basically an oval with two notches cut out on each side. Okay. This is going to be a simple holder. The next thing I need is a, is a hole in the middle here. So I'll come up here and I will say hole. Um, I think about three and a quarter inches is going to be too big in diameter. I want something around two, two and a quarter inches. So let's make this two and a quarter. Create it, and it's going to come up here. There it is. We can close it. Another thing we could have done is uh, when we created it, we could have put our center point as zero, zero. Okay, which will put it right here. When we create it, boom, it's there. So just another little thing to kind of know. We've got our hole in the center. We've got our shape now. Got our hole. The next thing we got to decorate it up a little bit. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can put a phrase in it. You can do all kinds of things. If you want to put a phrase in it, we can go to the text box and put a phrase in it. Let's say, happy birthday. Exclamation point. Okay and we can apply it. Well, there's our happy birthday. It's not very big, but we can center it here and then we can make it as big as we want. And we can also center it. So we come here, we say center it widthwise. Voila. We can bring it down if we want. And if we think we took it off center again, we can always come back and say center it. Well, happy birthday who? Well, since I'm the one that's doing this, it's happy birthday to Rick. And apply it again. I'm not too sure I really like that font. So I'm not going to use that font. I'm going to use something different. And I think I'll use Arial. It's up here. And say apply. Now that's my aerial font. Put it down here. And again, I can sit there and tell it to go to center. Now if I want it bigger, because I do have a big eagle. So put it on center. Bring it to where I want it. Hey, that looks pretty cool. But, you know, that's kind of one of the things you can do. Well, let's go and do or create what we had before. Okay, now I'm going to exit out of this. I'm not going to save my changes. I am going to open my simple wine bottle holder CRV. This is the one you can get off of the Next Wave website. And here's what I have right here. Um,
this is the one that we'll be making in the videos again if you don't like what's there you can go in here and basically delete everything you don't like and put something else in okay it doesn't matter but for the sake of the, the this video this is what we're going to do now we've got our design to where we think we're happy with it this is cool I'm good with this now we have to make our three tool paths we need a tool path for the v-carve part of it to do our letters and stuff we need a path for the center hole and we need a path for the profile profile center hole and your v-carve now the reason we have to do the center hole is because if we use the same tool path that we use for the profile the profile is going on the outside and our hole for the wine bottle is on the inside it's the only reason why you have two tool paths I guess if you wanted to go on the outside and be a half inch bigger I guess you could do both of them at the same time but at this point in time I'm not really worried about it so what do we got to do to do our tool paths? Well, in order to do our V-carved tool path, we have to have the things that we want V-carved highlighted. And then we go up to the V-carve. Okay, now we're going to have a flat depth. I want a flat depth of about oh, a couple hundred thousands, probably a hundred and fifty thousands. And the reason being is, is I don't want this to go too deep. The next thing we can do is come in here and um, use a 60 degree V bit. Okay, got our V bit. We can use a clearance tool. What that's going to do is, like on this shark, it's going to clear out of a lot of the stuff. We don't have to rely on the V tool to do that. So we'll select an eight, uh, eighth inch end mill for that. And then go ahead and calculate. What that does is calculate our V carve. Okay? And that's these two at the top here. I can preview those. And if I like the way they came out, which is fine, I'm good with that. We're ready to rock and grow. The only thing that I kind of have a little bit of a problem with is this one on the bottom here. And um, it looks like it's just a little bit on the shallow side. What we can do is tell it to go a little deeper, and it may pick that up. See, it picked it up. So now we preview the toolpath again, and it just you can just barely see it in there you can just barely see it in there again it's playing around with it and getting the right depth well we can try it again do something a little different here see if this picks it up this time It's still a little fuzzy. Let's see what happens when I do this one. Oh, that one because I had a black background. That's why that one showed up. If I set this tool pack color to black, it'll probably pick up. Yeah, it picked up a little bit better. Sometimes you got to play with it a little bit. So anyhow, we got those two tool paths done. 
Um, logos can be really tricky for the very fact of the depth and stuff. So we've got that one done. The next one is is to do the hole for the the hole. Our cut depth is 0.76 because we want it to break through. I'm um, using a quarter inch end mill. I'm going on the inside of it. And everything's good. Go ahead and calculate it. It says it will cut through. We already know that. And then the last one is to do our profile. Again, we want to go all the way through quarter inch end mill. We're going in the outside now. Okay. And we're going to add ramps to the tool path and add, add tabs. When you add tabs, you got to tell them how many you want. I said three. That'll be fine. And basically all the tabs do is hold everything in place so you don't got stuff flying all over. The other thing is, is that I usually do is sometimes I'll have it put a spot on it, on, not on this one because I got lots of room to where I would screw it down. Calculated it, and we can run our profile, preview it, and there we have it. Okay. Now all we have to do is save the tool paths. Go to save. Highlight the one that you want to do. It will come up here. It's an end mill. It's a profile. Make sure you have the correct post processor. Then you can go ahead and save the tool path. I've already got them saved, so I'm not going to resave them. You do that for each one of these. You'll notice in my tool paths I put one, two, and three. The reason I do that is, is it's easier to determine what the file is when you have you're looking at the file on the pendant. Remember the pendant only has a certain amount of letters it can show. So consequently, you're gonna have some of these cut off and you'll have simple wine, simple wine, simple wine. But you don't know which one they are. So what I do is just put one, two, three in the front. And save the tool paths to your designated directory. Make sure you put it to where you can find it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to watch the machining and finishing videos. For more projects, videos, and instructions, go to nextwave.com. Thank you for watching.